tiny shade. Uh, about 45 years ago, my first wife made this shade. Uh, and I had a lady come in, one of my old clients, repeat business. I've been doing business with her. She'd been making things for her for, God, 30, 20 some years now. And she came in and she wanted the same thing, but on this size, which is about a nine inch uh, glass shade. She wanted the same shape and the same kind of design, kind of, on that shape. So, for myself, in order to do this, because God knows where the XY's pattern is, I took a piece of tracing paper, wet it down, wrapped it around the shade, held it down with uh, painter's tape, came up with one flower, taped it down with painter's tape, copied it onto the paper with carbon paper, okay, and then designed it around it, okay. So, I will deal with making the seams, I'm making three panels the same, and I'll deal with the seams after I get the three panels made. Plus, I have to make the aperture smaller Oh, because it has to go on something like this. See how much smaller that is? So I have to also kind of redneck engineer that also. So my goal for the day was to get the background cut out. And I still have to do the leaves. The downside is that I have five flowers in here. And each flower has five pieces. So I will wind up cutting 15 pieces of each uh, for the flower, unfortunately, but, you know, the background's only three so far, and I'm going to show you the colors. Now, uh, there's another way to do this, and, you know, Wayne Taylor, Mr. Wayne Taylor, uh, can tell you more about that. I'm not getting into that. This is just something that I'm working on. I thought you might like to see it, and uh, so here's the colors for the shade that I'm making. Uh, now you're going to get a little glare. This is the background. Uh, it's a little bit lighter in the picture than I would like, but that is the background. The leaves will be this. Again, it's not showing up as green as I would like. Let's see. Maybe if we lower the camera a little bit. Let's do that. Lower the camera and try that again. This is the green. Now, well, looks kind of yellow in there, but that is the leaves. This is the flowers. Mm -hmm. Doesn't show up like I'd like to. And the flower centers, which, thankfully, I made them circles, you all know what this is, right? You all know that this is Whitney, Rosebud, Red. And when you cut it up in a circle, it changes dynamics considerably. You can see that. So, that's what I'm working on. I will be giving you guys progress reports as I go along. So, this is actually the lady I'm making this for, bless her heart, she has developed Alzheimer's, so she's liable to not even remember uh, ordering this, but I've done a lot of work for her and I want to get it done a little way before Christmas. So, that's what I'm working on. I just thought you might like to see that. 